pescoço Yo, what's good YouTube, it's your boy JP Productions and I'm back with another shooting form breakdown for y'all. This time we got the 6'8 Rutgers commit Jaden Jones. Let me not hold y'all up no more, be sure to spam that like button and subscribe if you haven't. We'll first dive into his two-handed shot. If you've been rocking with me, you should already know the cons to it, but let me say it again for the new folks. By shooting the ball with two hands, you hurt your accuracy. Don't get me wrong, you gain more power but you lose control over how the ball spins and where it decides to go after the rock leaves your hand. Another key due to his two-handed shot is his hand placement. Notice how his hands are on the side of the ball, which is fine. Shooters like Steph Curry and James Harden do this at times and it's called the palm rotation. This basically means that your shooting hand starts on the side of the basketball. Then before it gets released, his hands will end up under the ball. But with all that being said, the 4 star athlete is known to be a knockdown shooter. If you're a knockdown shooter with different mechanics, I'm not going to hold you because the goal is to get buckets and that's what Jaden does. So no need to change anything unless you decide to, but like I always say, if you can score no matter the situation in the game, moving to your left, moving to your right, with no problem, then you're good to go. Jaden's release point is at his nose, which means as soon as the ball is in motion and the ball gets near his nose, that will be when the ball starts to travel forward towards the rim. Although with him being a 6'8 guard, which is a good height, I believe that he may face some challenges due to his low release point, especially when being guarded by any tall defender that's light on their feet. But with the help of using screens to get open when possible and creating enough space with his body and handle, it shouldn't be a problem. Lastly, let's dive into his release. Overall, Jaden's got a nice looking J, but I believe that he can gain a bit more arc on his shot. With this simple tip, and that tip is to keep his release high after the release of the ball. Now I'm not saying to hold your follow through up like a robot, but notice how after his release he tends to bring his hand down slightly. The key for any shooter is to keep their shooting arm's elbow either slightly above or equal to their eyebrows. Jaden does a good job at fully extending his arm and snapping that elbow for a good release, but if you could keep that elbow up instead of bringing it down, you would definitely feel and see the differences on how you can make shots. That's gonna cap off today's video. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Got any other suggestions or questions? Just drop a comment down below and I got you. It's your boy JP. Till next time.